All right. So this is going well. That's this is going so very positive. The French didn't do exactly what I hoped they would do, which, which was is to burn themselves, throw themselves against us. Um, so now we have something of a stalemate. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I was gonna reassign our Benelux. We actually don't have air superiority in the ben Benelux, which is kind of interesting. Um, so let's move these guys here, and then. Yeah, we'll keep our we'll keep our Western German Air Force intact. Um, so yeah, we've reestablished dominance over over northern France, which is good. They're they're taking some pot shots at us. They're moving some guys around the, around the uh, border. There are receivers in motion, yeah. you would say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, once these guys get up to 100% planning bonus, I think we can start launching some offensives. They can't... They're All right, they're starting They're starting to push. They're starting to, to try to burn themselves out, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. We want their planning bonuses to decay. Combined syndicates of America took the United States. Oh, shit. So we might have some American intervention. Um... Are they at war with the Pacific? That would be great. Pacific States of America is fighting a defensive war against the combined syndicates. So they're right, not they're not done yet. That's good for us. Yes, uh, they're because, not done, yeah. done yet. And the American Union is still still in the fight. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they are launching some fairly non-effective offensives. This might be the only one where. Well, we could we can reinforce it. Um, let's see here. So reinforce it with some of the garrison army. Hmm. I'm wondering. We if can't that's afford. Be we dangerous. can't afford them to break through on any level. Would be my argument. Um, if there's anything we can do. Well, let's see why this battle is going how it's going. Uh, we are taking enemy air superiority penalties. So, what, what, here, what planes do we have in northern France that aren't really doing anything? Um, yeah, we might as well pull back some close air support to the Benelux. I would agree. And maybe some, some of our fighters, not all of them. Uh, see if that turns it around. Because they have a higher efficiency here, too. There we go. That immediately went green. So we just need to... We need to maintain at least a token Air Force in the Benelux. Is I think, the uh, the lesson to be learned there. Uh, we still had... Still had a time for computers. We still had a time for most of this industrial stuff. Um, yeah. We're going to have a... We're going to have a great bonus for that when we're no longer ahead of time for it. Um... Uh, Panzer fours. I think Panzer four is uh, probably gonna yeah. be. Yeah. I see no reason why yeah. why to do anything else. Yeah, let's go for the Panzer four. Uh, one, two, three for resources, one, two, two, so all we're gonna need is a little extra steel. We can manage that. Unread naval battles. Those are all stars, which means that they are all victories. That uh, is awesome. We sunk the, the some more Dutch ships, more Dutch ships. And a British submarine. So, yeah, I'd prefer if... How the hell do we have air superiority over southern England? We have nothing there. I guess it counts it as by default, maybe. So, the French offensive is... Uh, we have one more area of concern there. One more red. Yeah. They are... They're attacking from here. So... Where is Romp? I don't want to draw a new battle plan, no. Um, Do you want to hit it? Try to take some pressure off? Yeah, at this point, we've got him on balanced execution. Let's let's see what he can do. We'll tick down speed a little bit so we can micromanage this. Um, yeah, we need to relieve some pressure here. Partitioning of the Netherlands. We've taken control of the Netherlands. Should we split it with our loyal ally... Uh, yeah, we want to keep our political power high. Yeah. I'd say give it to them. 
So, yeah, they get <laughs> basically the industrial heart of the Netherlands, which is, that's all right with me. Okay, okay that's so turning around. It's starting to turn around a little bit. This is this is where we will break them. Um, is going to be my prediction. Is this province right here? Is Rommel going? Yeah, he's he's on the move. Rommel is on the move. Um, this made a plan value minus one hundred. Superior enemy division still preparing. Some divisions not in position. Okay, well fair enough. Got to take the heat off of them somehow. So yeah, this is this is exactly what I thought would happen. This is where the breakthrough is coming in. And it looks like the Brits are trying to land some Marines. That's not going to work for them. And yeah, they're they're collapsing. They're collapsing in this province. We're not doing very well taking Lille or Dunkirk, but yes, that is why we sweep around. So that's a bit, um, that is a big deal, what just happened right there. I wish we could select, like, just Rommel's units easier, <laughs> but here's here's what we want to do. Oh, we're being attacked, so they're not going to let us launch an offensive in that direction yet, but... Uh, Rommel's offensive is about to utterly ground out. Well, when they stop counterattacking, we'll be able to sweep around. That's that's where that's where the money is gonna come in. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be the money move right here. Operation sweep around and hit him in the ass, as it is uh, eloquently called by the German High Command. <laughs> <laughs> Operation sweep around and hit him to the ass has begun. Yeah, we're still holding really well across this front. Um, we have low supplies. Where? Where are we having low supplies? Northern France. Base is in low supply. Okay. So we just we just need to take some more French territory, it looks like. Oh, come on. Thought I was clear about what I wanted you guys to do. I think they defaulted to a bad order because I stopped paying attention. So Rommel's offensive ground out, but his forces were able to go into a fighting retreat and have the advantage yeah. now that they're being attacked. And... okay. <laughs> we had a little bit of a pause there for the AI to think about what it wanted to do. Alright, so we need some serious firepower allocated in this direction, it looks like. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Let's stop, pause the game, let's, uh, Assess. let's reassess. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this. This order battle is no longer useful to us, so we're gonna draw the battle plan for the main Wealth Creek army group. Might as well just draw it straight across all of our primary objectives. If you do not uh, object. I don't. So we can kind of sweep through here. We can hold this river. That's a pretty major river. Um, we want to, of course, focus our offensive on Paris. I would like it to have a center of gravity that looks something like that. Um, Rommel's offensive failed. I almost feel like I want it to spread out a little more. Um, something like that. Still following the coast for the most part. So yeah, let's get everyone in position. Uh... Public. Okay. There's war in China. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. Oh wait, Republic of China is ours. That's that's why we were notified about that. Yeah, they're our puppets. So who are they at war with now? 
Chinese Shangkang. Well, I probably they can handle it. Uh, yeah, I, I would hope. hope. Um, I mean, we do have some divisions over there, but let's uh, let's let's wait and see on that one. <laughs> okay. So it's still hairy, but overall the war goes we well. We have we have pushed forward, and they are not succeeding in pushing us back. Um, that we could stand to do say, something about. Attacking multiple directions, enemy air superiority. These guys just have low organization, or what is? Okay, they're turning around. I think that there might be some times where they will start to push, but it's ultimately going to be. Uh, it's ultimately going to be short-lived because um, we have better organization. So we have a salient here. What one might describe as a salient. We could potentially dislodge them from. They're, they're putting up a relentless offensive. Expulsion of AOG companies. Following the downfall of the AOG, the Chinese Republican government in Guangzhou has added insult to injury by proclaiming Asian sub-companies of Krupp, Opel, and Simians unwanted in their free China. Um, so we can demand financial compensation. Um, and they like us less. They like us less. Or we get political power and we hold Singao. Or Singtao. Uh, what do you think? Do you think we should let the Chinese go, or should we... I guess we're letting them go either way. It's yeah. just a matter if we if we demand... That we could use the out. political... We could use the political power. Yeah, it's true. Yes, and now we have enough political power to put, to put a general in charge of our military staff. All right. And yeah. we want to. Chief so, of Army, Chief folks. Chief of Army. Um... We have entrenchment and max entrenchment, division speed, division defense, division organization, supply consumption, artillery, recovery rate, attrition, defense, organization, division attack. Nice. Recovery rate. Um, well, let's look at our experts because experts are always gonna be better than regulars. So speed, recovery, recovery rate. rate. Uh, entrenchment speed, organization. Organization. Uh, we have another organization guy. That might actually be the way to go. Probably. Kala, he's a totalist. National populist. He's a national populist. Um, what was the other one I was looking at? Was division recovery rate. He's an authoritarian dem. Not yeah. awful. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should go with. Von Kluge. Do it. Recovery rate? Having a chief That's of helpful. army just helps. Yeah. Yeah, they're just putting up a relentless offensive here. We don't even really have a chance to counterattack. Um, Rommel's guys. It still says it's inadvisable. Even though their plan... Oh, their plan prep is high, their organization is very low, and we're having a hard time getting fuel to our trucks. So that's that's what's going on there. Um, they keep throwing themselves at, this, at these hills down here, and I don't think it's going to go well for them. We've also captured some of their border forts, which is definitely helping. Um... The... Oh, did we have a naval invasion? Oh, it's naval combat. I was gonna say, I thought we had our bases covered there. It's more... Oh, it's some British destroyers. Why would they send destroyers? Why would they send a destroyer? For one thing, we're not interdicting their trade in this province, unless they're trying to ship steel from Sweden or something. And, uh... Oh, yeah, we're almost... Almost ready to get some more reinforcements, too. Here's something that would be nice. Um, nice! Anti-tank upgrades, that's always going to help. 
And I think we can get the next level of computing. Not quite. Uh, ahead of time on that. Our industry is so up to date. <laughs> Let's get some better field hospitals. That's definitely going to help us. Also, do we have any divisions that aren't up to snuff yet? Such as these guys. Nice, dude. Yeah. Uh, Panzer divisions are pretty fleshed out. Our motorized, I think, are the ones that need work. So support, dude. They could. They're having trouble on yeah, the support let's, front. Let's go ahead and throw them some extra light tanks. Uh, and then, yeah, they're gonna need maintenance, man. Maintenance. They're gonna need engineers. They're gonna need. Recon, artillery, and anti tank. And some anti tank. Bam! So much army experience! Alright. So that's gonna put us at some huge resource deficits. Make sure upgrades and reinforcements, and then new divisions. Got it. This so is that going should well. start, That should start to make a difference. Um, I just wish that. Do we want oh, to here we go. Do we want to pull some of the coastal forces um, to support up here in the north? I feel like they're doing a lot of sitting around. They're they're defending against British invasions, so they're doing their job. Um, rest the oh, our ace was killed. That's okay. <laughs> our ace, who we didn't even comment on because we kind of clicked off of the event unceremoniously. Okay. Uh, they're about to take back our penetration. Let's. Do you think now would be a time to launch an offensive? I don't know, man. It says it's inadvisable, doesn't it? Well, we could launch an offensive along the whole line and just see how it goes. It's up to you, bud. Let's give it a shot. Um, we've got good planning bonuses. Let's let's try to let's try to knock them on the back foot a little bit. Let's just see what happens. Wow, it's going well. They've been beating themselves against our line for a while. Um, Dominion of Canada declared war on the Union of Britain. Go for the it. The Entente. Boy. The Entente is finally coming to help us against the dirty commies. All right. So this is going to be uh, this is going to be interesting to see how far we can penetrate when we nice. when we throw the momentum in the other direction. I think we might have waited just long enough to put them off balance. Rommel. Just go for broke, bro. <laughs> just get us to Rouen. I believe in you. Okay, so we're taking we're taking the pressure off. Are we even fighting in, in northern in western Germany anymore? Okay, so once we've advanced the line one more province in every direction, we can throw all of our air force into uh, into France, which will make a tremendous difference. Having hard times getting supplies in some of these areas where we're breaking through. Ah, oh, they finally freaking took it. You definitely don't want to let them have Strasbourg. Oh, but we just made a breakthrough. Okay, this could be good. This could be very good. We surround him in that damn town. Come on, come on, come on. You're on pause, so it's not going to change. <laughs> I've been hitting pause and unpause kind of uh, obsessively here. Okay, they're launching a counteroffensive, which is exactly what I didn't want them to do. Aye, our offensive is getting thrown back. Well, look at Lil. We're we're actually pushing forward, actually majorly pushing forward there. Did they penetrate into? Yeah, that was ours. But now they're surrounded. So that was inadvisable of them.
Yeah, this is this is uh, looking a lot like World War One. It's a slog. <laughs> this is uh, this is a slog in the trenches uh, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take Nancy back here. We've been and... recording for a long time, so I'm gonna pause and check. Yeah, that's enough for like several more episodes why don't we go ahead and save this game here um we'll take a breather i still think it's going well we'll hear what you guys think um in terms of what's going on i think it's going well for us but we really we're having a hard time making headway making headway um we're we're trading territory you know along uh along the the national boundary here and um uh, I, I want to know what you guys think uh, we could be doing better. You can you can be our sort of uh, military advisors here, as uh, our viewers are always tremendously helpful in these kind of situations, and I don't want to throw the war away necessarily. Um, so I want to make sure we think this through and we come up with a good, solid plan to uh, defeat the... Uh, we have reinforcements coming, which is good news. Right. We have uh, Canada, you know is now at war with all of our enemies, which is a very good thing. And they're allied with Ireland, uh, Australia, the French Empire in Africa, the Caribbean Federation, New England, Dominion of India. Oh, New England joined the Entente, apparently. So good for them. Um, oh, non-aggression pact, of course. <laughs> How did I miss that? Oh, let's check our naval battles, too. I'm pretty sure we've won every naval battle so far which is not something you would expect from Germany in 1942. Uh, yeah, why, why is Britain sending destroyers? They must be trying to trade with Sweden or something, because the only reason they'd be sending destroyers is to protect convoys. Um, or they're just dumb. But, good news, Soviet Union's not in the war yet. Um, the syndicalists are... The the combined syndicates are not in the war yet, and they are currently fighting the Pacific states and losing. And the American Union state yeah. is actually making gains. It is looking a little healthier than it was when we last looked. Yeah. Um, so there. So it's a three-way war between the Pacific, the syndicates, and the Union state at this point. Um, they're all at war with each other. But yeah, that's going to do it for this uh, session. Be sure to check out loresworn.com. That's our website, our, our newly revamped website by the time you listen to this. Um, we're at Lorsworn Order on Twitter. I'm at AsaTJ. DM is at DM Schmeyer. And Next time, hopefully, we can uh, we can make some breakthroughs. Yeah, um, this is this is uh, a slog. This is a slog. This is this is like World War One Part Two more than it is World War Two. So. Yeah, let us know in the comments. What do you think we should be doing different? And uh, we will uh, definitely take that into consideration. We're, we're low on a lot of equipment. That's Light tank I'm not that worried about because we've kind of switched over to medium tank production. But, uh, yep. And we will see you guys next time. They've got to be hurting too. Yep. For the Kaiser!